Hi Farnville, welcome to my house, come on in. My name is Natalie Glaze and I live in South West London. So I own two businesses, a sustainable swimwear brand and a jewellery brand. We moved in last year and the house hadn't been touched in over 70 years. So although beautiful and had so many kind of original features, it was in need of a lot of love and TLCs. In terms of um, decoration at first, we brought everything back to almost a base, like a clean base so we could see the beauty of the rooms and the features. And then it was like, how do we then put our own stamp on such a beautiful old home? So we have kept all of the original cornice, all of the original doors. Um, I am kind of very into sustainability and I want to do things slowly, step by step, and like a lot of the pieces and the furniture I want to use as antique and vintage. So it's sourcing that and making sure I'm kind of taking my time, um, which means it's like probably takes slightly longer, but it will be worth it. <laughs> I had a colour consultancy when I was thinking about paint colours because it was just, there's it's a lot of overwhelming choice of kind of where to begin with um, a full renovation when you're doing everything from scratch and Joa came round to the house and we talked through kind of how I wanted the house to feel, the kind of colour scheme, the how each room, um, like the relationship of all the rooms and how they kind of complemented each other, which was such an incredible experience because I had like a vision in my head, but the colour consultancy kind of helped bring that to life and helped put me in the right direction. So for the living room, it was originally two rooms. So we had a front room and a kind of more formal dining room. The light in the first room was very kind of dark and dingy. So first of all, we did a bit of a structural element where we opened out the two rooms and the difference it's made to the light, like the light in here is so wonderful. It's really inviting. It kind of flows through all afternoon, you get sunlight. So I wanted to make sure that the room itself had a kind of serene, calm feel, which is why we went for shaded white in here. So we chose dead flat in here because I knew as soon as I'd seen all the original features that I wanted to kind of colour drench this space and I thought dead flat would be amazing for that because we've done the same colours on the walls, the ceiling, all the woodwork, the bookcase and I just love the finish of it, it has that kind of slightly matte look and I think it looks so beautiful on the woodwork, on the cornice, all around the door. We used dead flat in our spare bedroom. We went for a kind of olivey, earthy green, which is Treron, which I absolutely love. I wanted to make sure that for a spare bedroom, anyone who was coming to stay felt instantly calm, relaxed. I think a lot of the feel of that space, as soon as you walk in, it's almost like you can just take a deep breath. And if you're staying over, at our house, I want it to be a relaxing, wonderful experience. And I, I think also a lot of the colours that I am drawn to is a slightly more neutral palette and kind of bringing colour in in a more earthy, neutral palette is love. I love greens, I love like that kind of rich terracotta, those like softer tones and the colour in there is so lovely because it's, it's a rich, deep green, but it kind of feels calming and earthy at the same time. So in our dressing room, um, we have used dimity and dead salmon, both in dead flat in there as well. And it just, it kind of envelops the room really nicely. And then we use dead salmon on kind of um, the other elements of our wardrobes, which was nice because it's a really complimentary color and it still has that kind of neutral, but a little bit more pinky, uh, earthier tone, which I really love. And I think it was just, being able to use the same paint on the walls and also to be able to use it on the wardrobes and the wood was really important and also really useful. I think for my decorating journey, I want to make sure that not only am I taking my time with it and being really conscious of the choices that I make, but also that the choices I make will last like the test of time and that's including the paint. I don't want to kind of be topping up the paint kind of constantly and in terms of like sustainability and wastage, wanting to make sure that actually when you paint that will last. I think dead flat's so great because if there are any kind of dirt or marks on the wall, you can just wipe it down. It's really durable and a lot of the rooms that we use it in are quite high traffic rooms where there's lots of kind of use, whether it's wardrobes, living room, um, which I also use as office. So I think for, for me, that was like a big part of the decision making of using dead flat.
each time we do a room, the vision kind of comes together. Although we're doing it so slowly, I do feel like paint colours make such a huge kind of uh, impact. To, you can kind of see the vision of the house. I think the more rooms we've done, people are like, oh, I see where this is going now. Like you kind of see where you're, you're heading and the end goal, which is really exciting.